Hi. Welcome to yet another chapter of Eat Easy English. Today, the second session, we'll be dealing with daily content for speaking. If you see spoken English as a process, we have to see the daily content for it. And I believe for each person, it will be different. But we have to generalize it by discussing few common things so that we can make it very easy. As I told you in the previous session, any person in this world whose native language is not English, knowingly or unknowingly, he is speaking 2,500 English words. Second, as we discussed in from our language itself, we too contributed few words to the English and day by day, by the, the moment which I'm speaking to you, other languages might have contributed few words to English language as well. So when we take the language class, two, uh, two, uh, there are two things which we are supposed to focus. One is to polish the English language which we possess. The words, the sentences, the concepts which we have, we have to polish what we have now. Later or then we can welcome or we can conceive new concepts, words and everything. So first of all, we need to polish what we have. Then we have to take. So automatically it will be good. Otherwise, if you have unpolished words and concepts into which we are adding new words and concepts, everything will be unpolished. So it's better to polish what we have first. Now, as I told you, the content for a day, if you take that concept and if you check what we have from English language, we can just say uh, 2000, two, uh, sorry, two, 2500 English words plus Let's see if you take the 100 percentage. In a day, if you take the 100 percentage, 20 percentage of the speech that we are focusing or we are doing on questions, questions uh, that we ask. Another 20 is certain questions that we receive for which the answer is either yes or no. So now it is 40. Another 10 percentage is one word answer. That is, if somebody is asking your name, it's unique. Your place of birth or where are you from? All these are specific answers, which is different for everybody. Next 10 percentage is greetings. The greetings which we convey to others in the morning, during the noon time, evening, night, during birthdays, during other special occasions. Then if you calculate this whole thing, questions, yes or no answers, one word answers and the greetings, it will come to 60 percentage. Now to this we can also add 20 percentage from our workplace because there are few terms specifically we use in our industry if it is a retail industry they have their own terminologies wholesale if it is a hospital or a school or a shop or a hotel so there are specific terms meant for that particular industry or designation we use it so all together which i told you what we have with us is 80 percentage 20 percentage questions, yes or no answers, one word answers, greetings and the industry terminologies that we have is 80 percentage. So let's focus to polish this 80 percentage first. Then we can take the rest, the balance. So as it together it will be polished. So in the near in the future classes we're going to discuss the questions that we ask 
and how we should ask what are the ways of asking how to understand a question wherein the answer is yes or no how to understand a question where there is a specific answer and also what are the ways of greeting others and what are the best method to answer or to speak our language which is with which is very much connected with our industry so these 80 percentage 2500 words which we already using together now don't you think it this is not that difficult that is why i gave the title eat easy english okay catch you later in the next chapter